wanted to like rant about that's been bothering me is everyone's fixation on Walker's puberty. Yeah. <laughs> so for the Deadpool Wolverine movie, they there's a lot of different Deadpool characters and iterations of him in the comics, and there are all these rumors forever that um, Walker was going to play like Kidpool or one of those other characters for Deadpool because he played a young Ryan Reynolds in the Adam Project so well and people loved him in that movie. Like, I have never seen an interview with him where he's being interviewed by like a major publication like Entertainment Weekly or something like that, where they didn't bring that up with him. And so after the movie came out and he wasn't that character in the movie, um, the, this article came out in Entertainment Weekly where Steve Levy, who is the director for the Deadpool movies, said that the reason why he didn't get that role is because of puberty. Like he literally said it was because of puberty. He no longer fit the role. And even though it's a dream of his, we just didn't give it to him, but we were going to give it to him before that, but he just got like too tall and he grew too much. And I'm like, you are lying. Like number one, you are lying. I do not believe this story. I think that enough people asked you about it and you feel bad because Walker is such like a kid still. He's only been in three things, including Percy Jackson. Um, four things technically, but like still, he only was in two movies before he did Percy Jackson. He's such a baby actor. And so he's this actual kid who just loves your thing. And everybody knows that he wants to be in it. There's tons of people that would have gone to see, try to see that movie who aren't old enough to see it, but they would try because they would want to see him in the movie. And so you're just making up because there is no way that I'm going to ever believe that that movie wasn't going to Nepo baby it and have Blake and Ryan's kid play that role because that's who plays the role in the movie is their kids. And Blake Lively plays like the lady version of Deadpool in that movie. And so I'm like, you're never going to give him that part ever because also movies film way before they come out. And so I'm like, his voice didn't drop until the last few months, really. Like the interviews that he was doing at the beginning of the year, he still sounded like he did when he when they fell into Percy Jackson, the first season, basically. And so I'm like, he didn't really fully, his voice didn't drop until recently, in the last couple months anyway. And so you would have filmed this part with him before any of that ever happened anyway. And I also just have to believe that they were lying because the idea that they called him up at home and told him, hey, I know this is like a dream role that you've always imagine doing and you literally did a movie with us and so we th and you probably thought that we would let you do this but we're not letting you because you had puberty something that is completely outside of your control and we're not going to let you do this movie because you're too tall and you're like too old now that is just such a horrifying thing to imagine that like a big star director and a big star like ryan reynolds did something like that to a kid that was in like eighth grade or ninth grade and just like walked away from that being like, oh yeah, that was a good decision. <laughs> so I have to believe that they made this up because I can't, I don't want the other version to be real that they actually did that to him because that is just horrible to say, That's just awesome. say to a kid at all, just tell them like, oh yeah, your body changed too much. And yeah. that's why, and that's why you didn't get this role. Like, please let that not be real for the love of God. Like, just please let, let that not be real. And so when the, the trailer for the new Percy Jackson stuff came out and everyone kept talking about how his voice was different and people started making way too many jokes about like, oh, they need to hurry up and film Titan's Curse because the kids are getting too old and they're going to look too like out of character by the time they get to the later books. And I'm like, look, like this show is going to make seasons probably quicker because the writer's strike, you know, slowed them down between season one and season two. That's true, but also can I just like state for the record that if anyone involved with this show was actually trying to hurry the process of production along because they were afraid about the actor's puberty, they should be slapped in the face, hit with a hammer, and then also get fired. Because that is honestly one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard <laughs> in my life to imagine that people working with kids would treat kids that way. Of seeing like their puberty or just them being children, like normal, developmentally normal children as a problem. And like the thing that 
really bothers why this like grates on me so much is I know that sometimes it's supposed to be like a joke and I love watching like him and Leah and stuff get older it's fun to watch them grow up like that in like a mom way you know and this stuff like kind of makes like takes away from the fun of that but the reason why this stuff bothers me so much and this sounds like a crazy leap but I promise you it's not it's connected to how children are abused in Hollywood because I'm not saying that anyone is abusing Walker or any of the other kids involved in this at all I'm not saying that at all but what I am saying is that the way that people treat kids where the you feel like you are allowed to talk about every facet of their life because they are a public figure that is what I mean that people feel like they can sit there and debate about whether Walker going through puberty is a problem or not when he's acting as a role like the fact that you feel like you can make comments about his body you can make comments about his voice and you can make comments about him as a person like i granted my teenage years were also extremely abnormal in a very different way than his is but i at least understand how being when you're a teenager and you're going through wild things that nobody else you really know is so I can say that during my teenage years, I felt like my body was like an alien. Like I didn't like, and I fe I think that regular teenagers probably feel like that, like that you, you cause your body changes so much with yeah. like hormones and all this shit that goes on for many years when you are in high school, that you already kind of feel disconnected from your body. And because it's changing so much that it doesn't feel like it's yours for a while until you get to like, college age and things start to like calm down when it comes to that stuff and so i cannot like i felt that a lot for really bad reasons i cannot imagine how hard it would be to like see people talking about you this way like seeing like huge stars that you look up to like commenting on your puberty as if it's a problem how is anybody supposed to handle those sort of I can't even imagine how weird it would be to like log on to the internet and see people just talking about your puberty yeah. experience. And I just wish that people would shut up because it's the same thing I always say, but like kids are human. These kids are people. And just because they're good at acting enough to be in a Disney Plus production, does it mean that everything about them is just open for everybody to talk about? It just feels so weird to watch people talk about this aspect of him. And I'm just like, this has to be the most uncomfortable experience when you're already at a weird age already and feel awkward just existing to have people like discussing that about you. And it's just like, that should never even be like on the table. That's yeah, not yeah. something you should ever even feel open to discussing ever. There's no reason and it's the whole thing that Hollywood acts like kids are like disposable, where they feel like they can do and say whatever they want to kids and that nothing will and nothing will happen to them. That's why kids go through abuse more than any other group of people because they don't have any power and they don't have it. It's hard to get people to listen to you. And there's nothing that they can really do on their own. They have to depend on other adults around them. So sometimes adults use that to do whatever they want to them. And it's just that whole idea that like anything about these kids are up for you to discuss and and they just have to deal with it. And it's just like, that's just not how any of this stuff should go. And I just really hope that this fandom that usually is like very empathetic towards their actors because it's run by Rick Riordan, like realizes that and stops doing that because they could do that with the other actors too. And I really don't want it to be like that. Like, are they gonna do that with the person that's cast as Nico? I really don't. <laughs> I really don't want to see that with that little child either. We grew up in the 90s where they had, they were passing off people that were pushing 30 as teenagers in high school shows and in movies. Um, so it doesn't necessarily take away from the experience. Like we weren't watching Grease the whole time saying, why do these people look like they're collecting a pension? Yeah. You know, like we were like, oh, they're in high school. Um, okay, this is a, a movie. <laughs> I was saying about Percy Jackson versus Harry Potter is the idea of consent. And I think that that idea goes along with the actors as well, that they deserve to have their privacy. Even if you want to know them, they deserve, it's much better when they feel like they can share things 
and they can trust their fans with what they share instead of feeling like their fans are like invading parts of their life that they don't want to be out there. It just makes the back and forth between it much healthier. The same way that our back and forth with Rick Riordan is much healthier than people have with JK Rowling. Mm -hmm.